Ooh wee, this is gonna be one doozy of an episode. Hello and welcome guys, Salvanathan here. We're back with another reaction today. Today we're continuing up Summertime Rendering Run, episode five. Um, we're continuing off with like Shinpei chasing off, chasing the Ushio that he saw. Um, we, we, he was believing it to be Shadow Ushio, but I don't know, I have my suspicions, right? My working theory is that it could be the real Ushio, but maybe plucked from the timeline before she died. Kind of get a bit more into the festival, you know, the gang tries to go and meet uh, Karakiri, but it's a little bit busy. They really want to know what exactly these shadows are, and I, I for sure do as well. <laughs> But at some point, Shinpei got replaced, right? And got taken over by, got himself, I guess, his own shadow self, right? And the Mio shadow and, and that Shinpei shadow start working together and they figure out that Shinpei's time looping. No! They're, they seem a lot smarter than regular humans too and they seem to have a bigger goal because they mentioned something called Mother. I'm interested to see that. At the end of the episode, we saw the, char the character from the boat, the lady, mysteriously shoot the shadow Mio. So that, that already shaped Shinpei. We're just gonna get started with the episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And also, check out that Patreon link for full on reactions of this show and other stuff. But without further ado, we're gonna get started with Summertime Rendering Episode 5. Let's go back in time, guys. I'm really interested because I wanna see if we get a new loop started. But whatever. I'm hoping we just get away from July 22nd. Please. <laughs> Let's go. Oh shit! It's still alive? So even if the shadow takes a form, you can't kill it that easily, eh? Uh oh. That's even worse. She's smart. She learned that you don't kill the person, you kill the shadow. You're a Nosuke. That's her first name. Why, why was he confused when he said Ryunosuke? Does he know who that is? But she seemed to know who the hell he was. Ryunosuke, man. And he's still confused. He's like, Nagumo or Ryunosuke? What, how does she know him? There is definitely something, an indicator. There's definitely some indicator. ただ人の形をした肉の塊にすぎません。奴らの正体は地面に落ちる平面の影の方です。なので、影を踏まれることを嫌います。影は人間を光によってスキャンし、その情報を取り込む。なぜそうするかといえば、それが奴らの食事に
my god, it killed so many people! They didn't even feed them, they just killed them! I'm glad that he was able to count them because it's a good idea to know how many currently there are right now just so that when, when he does go back, he'll have a bit more information. Oh man, yeah, they, he needs to reset. He needs to reset. There's no way. He, this is a this, this is a very bad timeline here. This lady could has a clairvoyance. She might be a time leaper too. Maybe. Have we already seen the final boss already? Yai! Are you telling me the shadows once held the ability to control time too? Is he saying that he's gonna cut off his means to time travel again? These things aren't going to kill him that easily. They're too smart for that. What the hell was that? A giant shadow mark, what the hell was that? Is that a huge flash that just happened? What? That's the mother? What in the fuck is that thing? That guy was a pretty damn mysterious character. He was random. What message is she referring to? <laughs> the shadow Ushio came in to help.
She saw him, she's like, who the hell are you? I, yes! I knew it! I knew it, that's good, that's good! That means he has to be very careful about how he does this reset. Every time he respawns, it's like he respawns just a little bit further into July 22nd. That's why I think she says there's a limit to that power. Because at some point, he's going to um, respawn exactly in the same spot that he was at. Like the first time was on the boat, second time was on the pier, now it's here. Yeah, exactly. I was just saying that. Oh. Oh. That makes sense. The first change he makes in each timeline are set, which means he's always going to not respond back at those points. Can't keep questioning things, man. You just gotta just do it. Very weird. Very weird. That was a doozy of an episode. A lot of despair. Love it. Love it. Meeting Ryunosuke lady was pretty cool. You know, it seems as though that she has like a bigger uh, mission here. Especially the fact that she said that she never came to this island since she was young. Meaning that she might have experienced some of the shadow stuff. We had Shinpei kind of witnessing the, the grand shadow there. I don't, that's not their mother. That's just, I think that's just one of the shadow's strongest soldiers. Cause he was able to like instantly kill everybody like that. The point of the things when they were talking about um, the, the limits to the power, that made a lot of sense, right? Cause like when I saw that he didn't respawn at the exact same point, right? It seemed as though that like, um, until unless he can stop this massacre from happening, it's gonna happen regardless on July 24th, right? It sounds like every time he changes something or the first thing that he changes when he does come back in time is set. And then he always responds a bit after that first change was made, right? Or a few seconds or a couple of things after, right? So all in all, great episode. Um, I'm excited to see the kind of plan he comes up with going forward now because now I think things are going to start picking up. He knows exactly what the goal is, what the mission is, and what the point in time is that they're going to attack. So I want to see the creative ways that he comes up with it. And now he knows how to tell who's a shadow and who isn't a shadow. So that's important. Anyway, guys, I will see you around. Take care and have a great rest of your day. Bye.